what happens is they still bring that that uh, reliance on this coding of spirit and spirituality, even in language. You know, uh, very ambiguous language, you know, universe, the spirit, spirit. You know, not really pinpointing anything because then you don't really have to be accountable. So what happens is a lot of times um, as we get older, when we're young, our intuition is very sharp. And when I say young, I'm even speaking preteen. Our intuition is pretty sharp. And as we get older, sometimes we don't recognize that the context of our life is changing. And when the context changes, then our association to certain things is going to change as well. But sometimes we don't recognize that that association is changing. You know, it's it's very similar to um, sometimes we, we have a we're, we're more committed to how we do things than the reason that we began to do it in the first place. You know, uh, for me, I I travel pretty frequently. And as a result, sometimes I come into different spaces, uh, whether they be other countries or sometimes just in the U.S., different states. And sometimes you see things that are being done that are just backwards. They're just straight up backwards. They're not working for the people in that place. They're not working for the country. They're not working for the economy. They're just not working. And um, you might mention something like, you know, this is this is you know causing an inconvenience. Um, why don't we do it this way? Why don't we do it that way? And the first thing sometimes people will say, "Well, here and so and so, this is how we do it. Here and so and so, this is this is what's done." And a lot of times we lose sight over what should be done. And this is a very important leadership message. Um, And men and women, you both have opportunities to lead. So when I say leadership, don't immediately think I'm talking about the husband or the man. You know, um, we all have different people to lead. Uh, Women, typically, you have children to lead and younger women, junior women, you know, and men, you have everyone else (laughs) that falls underneath that to lead. So it's very important for you to be able to know what your mission is. Common question I ask a lot of times when I'm working with families, what is the mission? What is what is your vision as a family? What's the family vision? And there is none. So when there's no vision, when there's no mission, then you're more easily programmed. Because whatever program that you have should be based on the mission. When you're unable to see that the context of your world and the context of your life has now pitched itself a bit differently, um, you begin to compromise your intuition because your association with certain things now begins to slip. See, like children, they have sharp intuition because they have less context. So they have an immediate association of things. If, if you ask a child, do you want to eat liver, you know, or eat um, uh, things, children like different fruits, you know, whatever, cherries, pineapples, whatever. Most will say, Ugh, I don't like liver. Right? They have an immediate context. They have immediate, um, not context, excuse me. They have a, a immediate feeling or gut instinct about what it is that you just put in front of them. Now, you take that same child and you advance their years by, let's say, 25, 30. Now they're 30, 35 years old, and you say, do you want to eat a cherry or eat liver. And they'll say, "Ah, you know, maybe I should eat the liver. I need the iron, even though they don't like the liver, you know. But what happens is now um, they start to create a different association with the things that come across their life, you see. And whereas when they were children, they blurted out quickly, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. Now that they're older, there's a, there's a now, there's a rational blockage between their emotions and their expression. You see, because the gut instinct or that gut feeling becomes that, um, you know, that that emotional expression that comes, you know, again, from the gut. But then a lot of times as we get older, um, there's an intrusion of deliberate thought 
there's an intrusion of, of deliberate logic that now sits in between. And then sometimes that rationale and that logic will block that, that intuitive heart expression and say, well, but mm, eh. I want to leave my job, but mm, eh, eh. <laughs> I want to move out of the country, but mm, eh, eh. you know, I've always wanted to live over here, but mm, eh, eh. <laughs> you see, um, that could almost be a hook to a song. Eh? So, you know, the thing is now, um, we start to, the, the, the context begins to, to kind of shift around and we begin to lose our, un, our ability to perceive what our unconscious minds are picking up on and expression and expressing based on history and ego. So what happens when is that tug of war push and pull? Uh, you say, I need to get a reading for some clarity, right? Um, so then you'll, you'll get a reading and the reading will say, no, it doesn't work. And then your emotions will kick in. And then you'll say, you know what? I, I, I like going to Baba for readings, but sometimes he's off <laughs> because, uh, you haven't broken down the components of your intuition yet, you know, which are primarily composed of emotional knowledge. Um, whether that, that emotional knowledge be things that are, are, you know, and have a negative association or positive association. And of course, the, the unconscious mind. So you have emotions and you have the unconscious mind, right? And those are, um, parts of you that should be flushed out and should be trained, should be trained. But a lot of times we don't. So now let's go to the men for a second. 